What's up? It's Mike yes, yes, Wall, sure. and welcome to the Agent Revolution podcast, where we deconstruct some of the biggest challenges facing today's real estate agent. And today I'm joined by the man himself, Sekou. What is up, brother? Big Mike Wall. What's going on, my brother? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great, and I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm talking to you because I know you're getting ready to to really drop some major, major golden bricks here. And uh, we, we are we are coming to this industry um, day in and day out. We're trying to bring the value that this this industry needs. We know that this industry is broken, and uh, we are here every day to to help try and fix it, man. So what we're talking about today, Sekou, why don't you tell the audience what you want to talk about today to add value? Uh, well, listen, man, I, I am a, a, one of those guys that are a maniac when it comes down to setting appointments and, and setting expectations for production, et cetera, et cetera. So in so much as the industry being broken and uh, agents worrying about, you know, the iBuyer or the, the digital market or something like that, uh, I, I pick up the phone and I start dialing. So I want to talk to you guys about, you know, setting your mind and setting your intention on on at least a contract a week. Like without a doubt, as a salesperson, you deserve a paycheck every week. You shouldn't have to delay your gratification when it comes down to it. And so what I'll do is I'll just sort of lay out what we do on a regular basis to, to just about guarantee that you're going to close something every single week. Is that cool? <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm telling you right now, guys, you need to grab your pen and paper and write this down and and probably want to listen to it one or two more times as well. Say, yeah, why don't we do this real quick, that. though, man? Um, real quick, yeah. yeah. Get, give me give, give us a quick bio on you, man. How did you get where you're at? I uh, well, my name is Sekou Pyle. I've been in the industry for about 22 years now. I started at a little mom and pop boutique at the top of Hoboken. I was a New Yorker who moved over to New Jersey because there it was just so much cheaper to uh, to to get twice as much space. The, the the tagline was twice as much space for half the cost, right? And so I moved from Manhattan <laughs> over here, and my uh, wife at the time uh, says to me, "You know what? You're so good at that. You should get your real estate license, and we'll make like a million dollars." I'm like, "Yeah." So I get my license and I go sit at this little mom and pop and I spend the first full year watching other people get paid, not knowing what the hell is going on. You know, these other checks were being passed out and I wasn't getting a check. So I made a vow that 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 year that I would never go another week without getting a paycheck. And uh, I, I shifted my intention and my energy from what I needed to what I could do and started rocking and rolling, man. I was with a bunch of different coaches. It was with a bunch of different programs, a bunch of different agencies. Everybody had a different theory, a different product that they were, you know, trying to cram down my throat. And the one thing that was consistent was pick up the phone and start dialing, man. The one thing that you could do to guarantee your business is to make those contacts. So that's what I did, man. That's how I got to this journey. I, I made tons of excuses and tons of reasons why it wasn't working. And then I just decided to take action, bro. And the, the rest is history, man. You know, we are a, a, a 400 transaction a year organization because of it. Not because of me, because of that mindset. Ooh, take action. Hey. <laughs> 400 transactions a year, man. That That's might be hyperbole. Deal. We might have... Look, look, that might be hyperbole. It might be like four ninety eight or something like. That. I mean, three ninety eight or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, but we, yeah, we'll, for for hyperbole's sake, we'll keep it at four hundred. There you go, brother. <laughs> So that's us, man. We 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 get up every day as an organization, man. My, my the the agents that I get to work with at the Devoe Group are just you know gritty. Roll up your sleeves, work your butt off, you know. Take no excuses as the reason why you're not producing. Just jump on it and rock and roll, type agents. So we get together every morning, eight o'clock, and we lead generate for three hours. And we do it together. 
and you, you get your wins, you get your losses together. And then we at 11 o'clock, man, we just we laugh about it. And we get on the phone, we get on a Zoom call and we laugh about it. So that's that's who we are. It's our culture. Yeah. Seku, I'm, I'm curious, man, why in this digital world do the phones still work so well? Well, the, the thing is, is that it, it's a toolbox. What, what I've been sort of like hammering home with folks is like it's a, it, you know, the digital world, the digital aspects of your business is a toolbox. And because you've got all of these fancy tools in your toolbox doesn't negate the need for the hammer, right? The hammer is still a hammer and nails. And no matter how cool you make your universe, no, how, no matter how many different, you know, functionality, blah, 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 you know, click this, you know, hashtag that, you still got to talk to the person that likes or comments on all your digital stuff. So the phone fundamentally is what revolutionized this business, you know, it, it, like a, a hundred years ago. And it still continues to be the thing that, that, that is the glue that holds us all together. Nothing yeah. like the human voice. I'm a firm believer. Yeah. yeah, no doubt about it, man. It's still a contact sport. Um, so there you go. where do you think the disconnect is in today's, in today's digital age between um, the, the individual agent who, you know, who, who wants to succeed and maybe mm -hmm. they, they, they are scared to pick up the phone um, and, and they don't know what to say. Like what, like when new people are coming into your fold, what are like what kind of advice, what kind of guidance are you giving them? I I, I tell them to focus on the first four transactions, right? Focus on your first four transactions. Chances are your first transaction is already inside your phone. It's somebody that you know, somebody that you've come in contact with. That if you are developing the relationships and the and the 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 rapport with the people that you already know, you're gonna accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally find two to three other folks who are going to need your help through referrals or through just stumbling upon them. Uh, the disconnect comes, in my opinion, from the, the, the misinformation, the overblown uh, sort of importance that people place on any one item in your toolbox. You want business, you've got to do Facebook. And man, it's Facebook, Facebook, fa you know, Facebook all the way. When in reality, that's a percentage of your business. You know, people say, I don't want to do cold calling, right? And that becomes like a focus. I don't want to do cold calling. So then they focus on like 90 other things that they could do. When in reality, quote unquote, cold calling is about 1% of your business. It's about finding the balance in all things. I think the disconnect is most folks are not ready to find the balance. It's a pendulum. They need to find the balance. What's working? Yeah. What's not? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's what I tell them. Why I say focus on the first four transactions. Phone, say again? I'm sorry. Why do you think people are scared to pick up the phone? I My theory is that we are moving too fast through this world, right? So we, we, there's more cars now than ever before. There's more ways to disconnect now than ever before. So when I tell people, listen, you got to make more contacts. I have people who are literally dying to door knock versus just picking up the phone. The, the, <laughs> the, the idea that digitally you cannot convey the same strength or energy as you could in person is very real, right? So we know that communication is over, I don't know, 70% body language or 60% body language, right? So the lack of the body language in the conveyance of the energy or the information is what really holds folks back. You'll hear people say, I'm much better in person than I am on the phone. And it could just yes. be, you know, that one guy that one time that said no to you. <laughs> it's irrational. Or yelled at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yelled at me. I had a guy, when I first so, started uh, lead generate. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, man. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's all right. Uh, so I had a guy, when I first started lead generating, uh, I'll even say his name. Like, I, I, you know, this guy was uh, Robert Croft. And 
when I first started lead generating, he was like the bane of the real estate agent's existence. Like he'd get on the phone and berate agents and curse you out and this, this and that. At a certain point in my career, man, I would make him my first call every day, right? If he was the worst call that I had, then I mean, the, the day was awesome. After a while, he got to the point where he'd be like, I'm not doing anything with you, Seku, leave me alone. And that became my standard. You had to know my name and cry before I stopped calling you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, man. So, okay. So what, so let's really dig into it, man. Cause I know like the meat and That's potatoes right. of what everybody's waiting for is like, how, like, how does this, how does this work for me? Like everybody's always like, what's in it for me? And I get that. Right. And, and so like, Let's really just dig into this whole toolbox thing and then, and then talk about an implementation strategy for everybody who, who watches and listens to this. No doubt, no doubt. So I am, um, I, every agent that's in my organization knows that the ratio is about 100 to one, right? So every 100 contacts you make, you will most likely sign a contract, right? And so with that as a baseline, when I coach, I coach to 100 contacts a day, giving us five contract opportunities a week so that if something falls apart, et cetera, et cetera, you are still like 99% guaranteeing that there's a contract signed that week. Um, it sounds daunting. It can be daunting if you let your mind you know, go there, but it's just a simple strategy. It's, 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 it's not looking at any one particular venue to create all of your contacts. So mm -hmm. uh, I, w the way that I look at it is a contact is any living, breathing adult human that you communicate with, right? So I'm not, you know, boiling it down to, oh, I have to have a real estate conversation or it has to be relevant to the listing that I took. No, any living, breathing adult human that I contact is a contact. So if you look okay. at your, yeah. So if you look at your range of who you communicate with on a regular basis and you begin to qualify that as a contact, you are probably making 30 or so contacts before you even pick up the phone in the morning the first time, right? If you're a parent dropping off kids, if you stop at the gas station, you go get a cup of coffee at your favorite coffee shop, et cetera, et cetera. There's all of these contact opportunities that if you become legitimate contacts for your business as time progresses, right? If you are seen as the guy or the gal that is interested in communication. In other words, you are receptive to information and you listen more than you talk, right? I know this is a little weird for me to say that while I'm spewing all of this stuff at you guys, but if you become the, the, the greater communicator by listening, then the people will actually look forward to communicating with you, right? So, if I break down my day, my 100 contact days, it goes something like this. I start the day every single day with gratitude, right? And I know that that's a very you know catchy phrase now, start with gratitude, come from contribution, et cetera, et cetera. I just take the gratitude and put it into action. So every day, using my phone, my Facebook, my Instagram, instant message, texting, whatever it is, I send out a gratitude message and it's a very simple message. I'm going to share it with you all right now. It's thank you for your support and for trusting me with all your real estate needs. Put a period on the end of it and I send it out. I don't put their name. I don't put my name and for trusting me with all your real estate needs. If you were walking down the street and somebody just walked by you and said, thank you, looked you dead in your eye and just said, thank you. What would you do? <laughs> You'd have a positive so response. To it. Yeah, it's a positive response. Yeah. You'd have a positive response to it. So that's all we're doing yeah. with that message. You send out 25 a day. What happens is, is that during the day, people start sending that you're welcome back. Right. Every time they return a message, I count that as a contact. If they ask a question, any question, including who's this? Did you mean to send this to me? 
wrong number, new phone. It's a contact, right? If it's a question, it's a lead. Okay. It leads us to further communication. So if I send out 25 a day, let's be conservative and say that I'll get 10 back, right? Let's just say that, you know, 10 back uh, as a contact. Then I start with my COI. I make at least five COI contacts, right? So now I'm at 15. That might mean that I have to make 10 calls to have five COI contacts, right? Then I start my right. day. Immediately after that is I call every single person that hung up on me the day before, right? So if you hung up on me the day before, for whatever reason, you could have told me to go beep myself. I'm going to give you a call back first thing in the morning. This is around eight o'clock in the morning. The call goes just like this. Hey, this is Sekou. We spoke very briefly yesterday. I know that this is a stressful pro uh, uh, process. I got one question before you hang up. And then I shut the hell up. Usually nine out of 10 times, they're like, what's the question? I go, what do you do if the place doesn't sell? And then I shut up again. Nine out of 10 times, I can set my first appointment within those first three or four calls. Right? Because then I go into the script and they're more receptive. Wow. They're not as angry. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm at around, let's, let's call it around, let's, let's be conservative and say I'm around 15 or eight hacks if we want to really go there. Uh, and then I start uh, 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 with the new expireds, probably only about 10 to 12 new expireds. I go new expireds, new for sale by owners, probably another 10 or 12 of those. I'm being very conservative. My area, there's a lot more but I'm being conservative knowing that around the country, they're probably not as high, right? So now we're at around 20 to 25 contacts. Here's where you really, really rock and roll. Most agents have made more contacts. At 25, they've made more contacts than they ever do in a single day, right? With 20 to 25 contacts, that's 100 a week, right? I can't stop there. I yeah. go for my old expireds and my old for sale by owners. Right now, those are infinite, right? Because <laughs> there's a bunch of them out there. People don't don't ever come off the market, right? So I go there, and I won't yeah. stop until I make another twenty or twenty five contacts. So now I'm at fifty, right? So now at fifty contacts, my gratitude texts, my new expireds, my new for sale by owners, my old expireds, my old for sale by owners, people who hung up on me yesterday, and my circle, and my uh, my circle of influence or sphere of influence. At that point. The day is really cooking. It's around 10, 1030 AM. I'm going to be stopping lead generation at around 11 o'clock, my physical lead generation. Caveat, on days where I'm lower than 50 around that time, I will send out more gratitude texts. So anytime I take a break, I'll, I'll send it out on Facebook. I'll send it out on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. I will tell you this as, a, as, a, as an aside, those gratitude texts generate between 12 and 15 transactions a year. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. Say, this and, is and, so good, man. This is so good. This is such good information, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's, it's insane, though, because, like, You've got to zero in. You you can't be about anything else, right? When you're when you're doing your lead generation. So I'm standing up. I got my cushioned floor underneath me. I will not stop. I decided that I would ring a bell every time I get an appointment. So I decided to go out and get a bigger bell. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to it's, drive it's my neighbor. It's, it's, it's whatever it takes, man. You know what I mean? Whatever it takes. Damn right. Damn right. They told me to go out and walk the fire with Tony Robbins, so I did, and I brought the charcoal back with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm middle. I'm in the middle of my prospecting day. I'm about an hour and a half to two hours in. I've got another hour to go, maybe a half hour to go. It doesn't you know? It depends on what my results are, right? So then I turn up the volume and I start circle prospecting. My circle prospecting is targeted. So rather than saying I'm just listing or just sold, we might do that depending on what kind of month or week or day it is, right? But what I do is I choose to circle prospect around for uh, around uh, open houses. And I'll give you all a tip. I only circle prospect to expireds and for sale by owners. <laughs> so if there's a for sale by owner and expired right. in that radius, 
I call him up and I'm like, hey, this is Sekou I, uh, with the DeVoe Group here at EXP. Listen, we're having an open house in the area and I just wanted to let you know, there's gonna be a lot of extra traffic. We usually see about five to 10 times more traffic to our open houses than normal. Uh, if there's somebody blocking your driveway or if there's some something that's you know going on, I'm gonna give you my number so that you can text me if, if you need them to move. They're probably in my open house. They're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> but they take the number and they remember it for when we do the open house, okay? <laughs> oh my God. So in circle prospecting, I could probably get through another 20 or so contacts, right? I only let the phone ring three or yeah. four times. Mojo makes it ring four times before it moves on to the next one. So I put it on the minimum amount of rings. I will not get off the phone if you do not hang up. Okay, so if you don't hang up, I'm staying on the phone. And in order to move on, because I have to have them hang up, that I won't hang up first, I will say the most outrageous stuff to get you to hang up. Okay, so I'm not afraid to push the envelope. Huh? Give you an example. Listen, uh, uh, yeah. you know, I'm calling around the house and such and such. And such. Well, I'm a real estate agent. <laughs> well, I won't hold that against you, right? Because I help a lot of real estate agents sell their property. And they're like, oh, that's a little such and such and such. No, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I get it. You're not getting any help from your broker. So you need somebody like me to give you a call. It like if they don't hang up, they must want the information, right? Hey, listen, uh, listen, you haven't hung up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you want the information from me. When can we get together and discuss a strategy to get you sold? Yeah. <laughs> like they, they go nuts, it, right? So now I'm at around 70 to 75 contacts, right? And now this is when the, 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 the real deal, uh, um, uh, 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 like the, 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 the S is about to hit the fan, right? Right. And the sales are about to hit the fan at this point. Right. So what I do is I pivot to my 30 cups of coffee in 30 days. Right. So every month I'm looking to have at least one cup of coffee with an allied resource or a real estate agent. I'm in a revenue share company, just like you. If you're in a profit share, a revenue share company, it's about growing your, in it's about growing your interests and your influence. So I'm looking to have a meeting with at least one agent a day or an allied resource that can introduce me to an agent or five or 10 or 20. So I pivot at that 70 to 75 mark and I'm looking to make at least another 10 to 20 contacts for allied resources to set up at least one appointment wow. every day of the week, right? And so if I'm doing my job wow. right, that 100 contacts happen by 11 o'clock in the morning. So between 8 a.m. and 11, I turn everything else off. Now, I know people say to take breaks and to do this and that and the other thing. I don't believe in them, okay? I, I'm not that kind of agent that needs to take a break. Uh, you know, if my coffee gets to me, I'm not wearing Depends. I will run and go pee, but I will not stay in the bathroom and, 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 and look at other things. Uh, last but not least, before I finish, uh, uh, understand that the mindset that I have is not the mind of an employee that needs a paycheck, it is, it is a, a CEO that's looking to create revenue for other folks. So because of that, I'm not checking the clock. I'm not seeing how long I have to do this. I'm not seeing what my minimums are. I'm looking for my maximums. I'm looking to include, I'm looking to grow every single day. So that's the, that's the toolbox, right? I use text, instant message, Facebook, you know, Instagram, uh, just about everything that I can do in order to reach out to folks, right? I don't discount yeah. any one thing in, in place of the other. I do it all. And yeah. I heard you say you were using <laughs> Mojo, right? You're yes. using Mojo to make your dials. How many dials um, so from the point in the morning where you start to the point where, so at, and then to 11 o'clock, how many dials would you say you get in? And by the way, Mojo is a triple line dialer and yes. so triple line dialers, uh, you can make three calls at one time for those of you who don't know. And if you want to get more information on that, you can go to mojocells.com. They're not sponsoring the show or anything like that, but we do use them as well. How many dials would you say you're making between 8, 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. or 11 a.m.? I, um, I, I used to know that number. I don't pay attention to the number anymore, and, I'm, and I apologize. I do know how yeah. many dials 
I need in order to create a contact, right? So it's every 10 dials, I create yeah. a contact. And every 22 dial, every 22 contacts, I create an appointment. Okay. Or an appointment. So the metric, so I mean, that, you're actually, that, yeah. You're gauging the appropriate metric, which would be contacts anyway. It's just, it's just, you know, I think with, with folks who, who, who maybe watch this or listen to it, they're, they're wondering, well, how many dials do I need to make? And right, it's, it's more difficult to scale uh, on a single line dialer or if you're peck dialing especially, yeah. Um, yeah. but it is well worth the investment, I can tell you, because it is a contact sport and any, any tool or resource that allows you to contact more people essentially pays for itself. Absolutely, absolutely. I will tell you this, that um, out of 125 uh texts, purposeful gratitude text, it returns mm -hmm. three solid leads every single week. So if you want to think about that as dials, as 123 dials or 120, 125 dials for three leads, right? If you think about a text yeah. as a dial, there you go. And so I do yeah. thousands we of actually dials. <laughs> We count the text messages as, as contacts as well, Sekou. So yeah. um, you've got a very regimented day, right? And I, and I know what people ask themselves, people who, who, uh, who are in creative avoidance, right? And, and, and we call creative avoidance. Creative avoidance is, is when you, um, you prioritize non-dollar productive task over dollar productive task, right? And so for you, I'm curious, I, I know people are thinking, well, I don't know what to say, right? I don't have the scripts. And I, I mean, we've heard all the excuses, right? But what do you, I mean, to, so to that, to that guy or gal who's not making the calls right now, but knows they need to, and they have these limiting beliefs about scripts and everything else that you've heard, what, what do you, what do you say to those people, Sekou? I, I have a very simple, simple answer for you. If you're not doing a deal, you need to be practicing doing a deal you're not on the phones, you need to be practicing on the phones. You need to practice for every moment that you are not producing. You need to practice twice as much as you procrastinate. So if you are practicing, you will give up the reasons why you're not producing. So practice, practice, practice. That is what I say to them. And then the accountability is, Chastity. say again? Go ahead, brother. Uh, Chastity yeah, Rosales, kind of, she, she, she wants to know, what do you What do I say to whom? I say to my uh, gratitude text, uh, thank you for your support and for trusting me with all of your real estate needs. Period. Send. Perfect. Got it, man. Right? All right. You were going to tell me about Chastity. the accountability part of that. So sorry. Chastity, the best person to send that to are the folks that ghosted you as an agent. If they were supposed to show up for an appointment and they didn't show up for an appointment, you preempt their excuses by sending them some gratitude. Hey, thank you for your support and for trusting me with all your real estate needs. It is magical. Magical. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. I love, I, I love man. that part. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, we hold them accountable to practice, man, by having you record your practice session. Just take your phone, videotape your practice session. We use a little thing called Big View VU. It's a, it's, it's a teleprompter, and you read the script while you're looking at the camera. It's on your phone or on your tablet, and you play that back for yourself two to three times a day. It's very hard to look in the mirror, but it's even harder to look at the, the screen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it, it will make you better. It will make you much better. All right. So talk to me about like, so this is every day for you, man. So how, like, how many appointments do you think you guys, how many, how many do you shoot for in a week? How many appointments are you typically shooting for? I'll tell you that I shoot for three appointments a day. That's 15 a week with a 50% failure rate. <laughs> Me. Man. So each That's member of my fail. team. I'll take that failure rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm killer when it comes down to my prequal. Like I, I'll eliminate, you know, just about anything, man. Yeah. I have strong minimum That's standards. That's good stuff, man. So 
Absolutely. So, and, and what, what this has actually been a huge surprise for me, man. Like, I, I'm so glad that you and I have actually gotten to know each other because, um, like, I, I can connect with you on so many different levels because this is the way I built my business too, was just grinding on the phones. And I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people watching, they just don't want to do it because there's this myth in real estate when you see it on TV that, you know, you just meet people at the office. And, you know, they sign up with you and, you know, you go open some doors to some million dollar mansions and you collect this huge check and real estate's just amazing. It's this amazing career. And that's yeah. what they sell you on TV. They don't tell you about yeah. the part that we're talking about right now. Right. It, this is this part doesn't sell any commercial time. Right. Right. So if right. you got into real I, estate for for. If you got into real estate for this, if you got into real estate just to show houses and meet clients and collect big checks, you got to check yourself right now because this is really what it's all about. Got to check yourself, dude. I I tell people all the time. I'm like, a season is 13 episodes. Uh, if I only sold 13 houses, I'd be broke. <laughs> they sell one oh, yeah. house an episode, yeah, right? Man. So if I only sold 13 houses, man, I'd be broke. Oh, yeah. And I'm I'm I'm. It's not acceptable for me. I, I'm in complete agreement with you. Awesome, man. So, what, give us some give us some parting shots here, man. What, what before we put a bow on this one? What, what what other message do you want to deliver? Dude, I um I I run a thing called the Appointment Academy, man. It's a it's a five day workshop, and uh, we can bring it to an area near you. We the last one we did, we made over uh I think over eleven hundred contacts in a week. And uh, we set something like uh, like 200 appointments or something like that. And these are not like seasoned veteran agents. These are brand new folks. You know, some of them have like, you know, a couple of months on, in the business. Uh, we run a free version of it every Wednesday on the Appointment Academy page. And, and I don't know, I guess I can like throw a link up or something like that after we finish. Um, but this Wednesday, we're going to try something new. And I, I want people to be a part of it, man. I, I, I'm going to do what we call 1K Wednesdays, man. And uh, so I'm going to track the, the, the contacts for the whole day for everybody that participates. And we're going to try to make 1,000 contacts. You usually get a 10% return on your Dang. investment. <laughs> That's 100 appointments, brother. A 1,000 contacts. I hope you guys heard that. Yeah. And, and so if you want to be a part of that, uh, Sekou will post a link in the comments on the on the Facebook broadcast. Um, I would highly encourage you get involved with him. Uh, there's from a just from a phone call, uh, from a context. There's no there's not many people that understand the business the 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 business side of making phone calls better than he does. And so you know, you. Um, my man Daniel Lyle, how many contacts do you attempt with one individual before you stop trying them? Because it is a machine, I never stop trying. It, it's, I don't get to that choose who's on my list. I call my whole list. Yeah. I call my whole list every day until they disappear, until they cry and right, my name. <laughs> so Sekou, tell me this, man. If, if, um, if somebody's really resonating with what you're saying right now uh, and they want to connect with you, um, just, just, to, just, just to learn more about what you're doing, how do they go about doing that? Dude, they can send me a message right here. Or my email address is Sekou, S-E-K-O-U, at homesbydevoe.com, like Bell Biv DeVoe, right? So homesbydevoe, D-E-V-O-E, dot com. That's so funny. When I brought DeVoe in, when you guys when you guys transitioned over, I started the I started the show with that Bell Biv DeVoe, man. And I think <laughs> I'm not sure a lot of people got that. You know what I mean? Because no. I'm just showing my age there, man. I'm 42. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not, and all these youngsters <laughs> are like, well, "What is that?" That's all right. Everybody that sees him when we're out, they think he's Ray Donovan. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a blast, man. I, I so appreciate you being on, man. And um, I hope we get to connect again in the future. This will definitely be worth another listen. I just love sharing these stories week after week. Because I know what we're doing at EXP is literally changing agents' financial lives. Hey, as Hell always, yeah. 
If you know someone who might enjoy this podcast, please, please, please share it with them. If you like the podcast, please go wherever you listen to podcasts and subscribe. And if you want to jump on a call with me one-on-one and learn how we sold more than 531 homes over the last 24 months, go to meetmikewall.com. And that's it for this one, my man. Salute. We'll see you, brother. Later. Boom, baby.